Hi guys, good morning. I just want to do a quick message from the divine. I did a lot of angel cards and I was told to bring in the message for earth angels or earth warriors. We start off with light is shed upon the righteous and joy on the bright in heart. This is Psalm 97, 11 and right underneath it we have let everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord. This is Psalm uh, Psalm 156. Okay, I'll just put that on the side. And we have one from Isis. It says, The rising sun, a dark phase and struggle is over. A new phase is upon you, one of hope, glory, light, and triumph. It is won through boldness and persistence. You have been through much, and now victory is upon you, beloved. For the divine solar child, a new consciousness within you is born. This is beautiful. I like that. Okay, I'll just put that there and let me get the H orange uh, H orange oh gosh I can't talk it's mercury and retrograde um, Archangel Michael card we have joy 32 the way forward is open you're not trapped possibilities and opportunities abound I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom there's a deck here that shows the same map, but it says usually like mother load. Looks like there's going to be a structure or a map towards abundance for you. I don't know how that's gonna come about, but I'm seeing these as like Aquarian symbols. So it could probably come around February. I know it's not here, but I'm seeing mountain goats. So maybe around winter time, Capricorn, mountain goat is Capricorn. So Capricorn and Aquarian season, maybe there's going to be a pathway for you that could lead towards financial freedom or just freedom itself. All right. And then I forgot what deck this is from, um, but I was compelled to use this one. This is my first time using it, I believe. We have Seeing God. This is chapter 6, verse 30. I don't know what scripture or what book this is. It says, Those who see me in all things and all things in me are never lost to me, nor am I ever lost to them. Okay, let me put this over here. And the angels we have here today. We have Zadkiel with gratitude. Zafkiel, Sadkiel, and Zafkiel with romance. Okay. Another Zadkiel card, security. We have Archangel Sandalphon, planetary cycles. Oh my gosh, a lot of Zafkiel and Zadkiel. ZZ, Uriel. Okay, we have Abundance, Surrender. Okay, I'm getting messages for those that are manifesting abundance or a new pathway to open up for you guys looks like the next six months is going to be very pivotal pay attention to your planetary cycles especially um uranus also uranus saturn jupiter and venus uranus is going to be especially if it hits your seventh house, um, seventh house, tenth house, or fourth house, because the security, I'm getting this as the fourth house, romance seventh, and this is more of like 11th to 10th house, but it's more of the 10th house. Um, so try to figure out, because if that hits those certain areas of your um, birth chart, there's going to be a lot of upheaval in this area so you might not be able to manifest properly because the tension and i'm getting anxiety that coming out of these houses or certain parts of your life let's say career home life and romance could affect you greatly um for those uh, manifesting romance it looks like they're is a rebirth here if that's what you're manifesting or if you're manifesting a new soulmate I'm just really drawn towards this like this 
spirit ghost like like a wisp of air um, it's like reviving the dead so if you guys have been cutting cords and really meaning to cut cords for your own security for your own mental stability looks like there's an ending in that and for others who want to resurrect or want new love or uh, manifesting a person specifically looks like there's going to be an opportunity coming your way all you have to do is surrender and I'm getting if there's bitterness or any hidden motive that like the opportunity will come but it won't manifest to the way you want it to be also with abundance here this is security when it comes to money home so maybe you're moving somewhere else I'm getting as above so below and I'm also getting past life gifts past life money or whatever that was owed to you I don't know if it's a baby it, the amount of money or opportunities I don't know how that's gonna unfold but it could come towards you five especially if you have your south node in the fifth house it's going to come in five days okay so let's see what else is happening we have fear waxing gibbous with 11 we have 33 flower moon blossoming flower moon hold on let me google this i think this is june this could be very significant for you hold on one sec uh, flower moon what month And for those wanting high level soulmate, it would come around flower moon. And the master number is 33. If you're seeing 313, 303, or 333, that would be an indication that things are manifesting for you. And flower moon happens around May 15, May 16. Let me look at the 2023 specifically. May 5th so this is happening around that time so before then try to vanquish extinguish any fear regarding towards communication um, I'm really drawn towards the crows and those black strings if you have any attachments to any of your exes people place or thing family in our childhood wound please deal with that now you have what four months until your person's coming for others it's coming soon like now um but for the most of you flower moon would be where this things the pathway would start opening um i'll be clarifying i'm so drawn to the, those birds okay so 55 another master number we have transits climate so always look at what did i say earlier jupiter saturn venus and uranus those are going to be the four planets that are going to be affecting you in the next four months specifically in your 10th house seventh house fourth house and we have sixth and sixth house okay where's the oh sixth house sustainability when you manifest make sure all of your chakras are open too and manifest from your heart um 11 33 55 44 so these are all master numbers and it looks like things are manifesting heavily on your end so watch out what you think because if it's bad things it's going to manifest in that area of your life so watch out for that we have holy water with 37 this is 40 with purification I'll put that there um what else is happening oh, shoot. we have inner earth base chakra strength security laying foundations so this is what's so if money 
has been tough for the last two years, six years. This pathway will be opening soon. You're being purified right now. And try to go under the sun for four minutes at least daily and do your prayers or like in the state of gratitude this is quite important and try to do it at least four times a week for the next four to six months okay we have sacred inner space sacral chakra tenderness sensuality so this is working on your this is red and orange and try to use these colors as much as you can this is the divine feminine energy um, looks like if there's been blockages in creativity I'm getting solar plexus as well with the fountain here so I'll try to use those colors let me get, I'm being hold on let me get this calendar they have like um, I got this on Amazon it arrived the other day and I'm just so happy I got this actually it tells you when the full moon happens and what colors you should wear um, coral so you need to use a lot of yellow orange and red so Thursdays I oh know they have different ones because it tells you like the color of the day whites is for purity and protection oranges is for attraction and success yellows is for intellect and confidence reds for courage and good fortune and blues psychic awareness you should get if you um, are into this stuff you should look into this and it says garnet for January the animals corresponding to this is snow goose owl or bear and the flower carnation and snowdrop this is awesome all right let me continue on we have this is from the archangel metatron deck 25 with passion love for life and seven 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 emotional well-being with water try to do spiritual baths as much as you can i'm getting new reignited passion here if you've been manifesting a divine counterpart i'm told if you're manifesting someone that's not in their divine power masculine or feminine it looks like manifest manifesting this person would not be happening it has to resurrect a relationship that has no communication for the past year or more it would be very tough for others it could happen but I'm getting heavily for those manifesting a divine feminine or masculine back into their life um, it looks like there's a new one coming in for the past person with seven seven if you guys are in alignment this could actually end in marriage so these are all master numbers. 444 could be significant. So we have 11, 33, 55, 44, and 77. We're just missing 2, 2, and 6, 6. Okay, so let me clarify these. What is fear? Angel Michael, can you please clarify what is fear with 11, with all those crows? This is mental anguish, eight of swords, nine of swords. Do you fear taking charge of your life? Is this what it is? Have you felt comfortable in your darkness? You've probably... 14, 414. If this is a divine counterpart that you're fearing, facing a divine counterpart, a twin flame. 
um, the message is just very, who is this? This is the collective, right? Manifesting. Okay, if you're waiting someone, an emperor, be it man or woman, they're in their masculine energy, could be a Sagittarian with temperance angel here. Um, it could be an Aries, an Aquarius, or it could be a Taurus. Yes, it's a Taurus. Do not wait for this person to come back and expect them to give you the same treatment that you give them. This person is doing something else. They're on a journey. They've been on a journey. And Spirit is telling you to take a step back and focus on your career and on your North Node and your life path. Because whatever is happening here, it's derailing, especially your base chakra, your sacral and solar plexus. That's why things have not been manifesting for you. You need to cleanse your body four weeks straight do your salt baths this is purification um, for others the pathway has been open for the last four months and you have not embraced that five four four to five months it's been open and it's like you don't want to move because your person is not there yet and you're told to push it I think there's something with a contract. I don't know if your person did something. I'm not sure if it's voided out or they went into a karmic cycle elsewhere. I'm not sure if it's a person or a job or just a responsibility that they have to take care of. But I'm told to tell you to heal and carry on. Do not wait for anyone. Do not wait. Okay, get me transits. Page of Swords. Okay. For those studying, going back to school for their PhD, Masters, or just take, taking a certification on something, looks like you have to plan out how this will unfold with your work. Arena, sixth house, your north node could be in your sixth house, or south node. You're almost there, so don't give up on this. Once you're done finishing whatever this is, it's actually going to impact your life in a way like not only will you feel fulfilled in your destiny, in your path, but you're going to help out a lot of people as well. Maybe people with PTSD or people that are war-torn countries, just people that need help and healing. And this could be in a small and big capacity. Judgment. Archangel Gabriel, this could be your guide. Um, for others, you guys could be going back to get certification. I don't know in what end, but I'm getting healing families. Or helping kids with depression or having issues with coping with their emotions pages are very young and juvenile naive and maybe their sense of self sense of like how they grasp information this could be a 40 year old person with a juvenile mind sometimes when we have trauma or ptsd at a certain age we stop growing mentally and we just stay in that age like you wonder why there's a 50 year old going at rave parties or whatever. 
because they're still in that mindset. They're still like in that 18, 20 year old mindset. That's why it's kind of tough when you don't heal and you carry on living. It's you're stuck in one place and nobody wants to be stuck. Nobody wants to be stuck. That's why you're being told to move on, move forward. Because this emperor, if they are being called upon to go to you and they're resisting that call, that's on them, not on you. So, if the opportunity strikes, if you guys are will be granted any opportunity to reconnect that will happen it doesn't matter how when where it will happen so for now you're being told to move on focus on work focus on your abundance okay get me the inner earth okay for now save your energy save your money your resources this is capricorn energy especially for the month of january february Ace of Cups. Okay, for those that had a lot of, not a lot of, or maybe um, sexual encounters with people, especially those with no protection, there's a lot of imprints in your womb, in your sacral chakra that needs to be dispensed, cleansed, and detoxified. Um, do your salt baths and if you can do clear quartz on top of your womb and meditate on your womb and on your third eye chakra clear out those black strings there's a lot of strings attached to your sacral to your womb um, these are unhealed wounds from people that you had no closures with especially if you had one night stands some of their karma has actually attached from you and you need to clear all that shit out because it's not yours so return those strings back to its owner return them they're not yours also there's a renewal here with your sacred lotus um this is creativity I'm seeing a volcano in my head right now. But the abundance cannot come. And this could be in your love department, in your sexuality. I'm seeing an ace of pentacle here as well. So this could come in love and money, but you cannot manifest it properly. until all those are cleared because even if it comes it would be in like a small form instead of a big cup so you're just going to get a sippy cup instead of this massive ass like sorry if you could hear my stomach growling <laughs> i haven't had breakfast yet um okay so that's what's happening also people that has left you in the seven of swords nine of swords can't sleep you're stuck in this wonderment puzzlement what this person did to you or what was being hidden these again your first card came out as fear so you need to get out of that fear abandonment issues codependency and really head towards this blossoming like this blossoming of your sacred lotus you really need to focus the next six months are very pivotal in your growth Get me the sacred inner space to passion, love for life, Michael. Ten of Cups. Oh my God. All right, people. And we have the magician. I call them the magician. <laughs> Because it's like you're manifesting these things, but the first manifestation that you're doing is your person. If you're not manifesting anyone, if you're not heartbroken, if you're not waiting for anyone else, this is really you in your emperor mode. Really, the emperor, empress, temperance, this is literally 
um, earth angel vibes. This is you balancing your emotions, not letting anyone trigger you, be it being breadcrumb provoked, or making you feel in lack. You don't need anyone to validate you. The divine validates you, and that's all you need. You're here for a reason, there's a purpose for your existence, and I hope you keep that mindset because you don't want to reincarnate here over and over again doing the same lessons over and over again when you can have a lavish fun life upstairs which is the 5d which is the fun stuff um but looks like the moment you revive renew your sense of self this is really reigniting What is that? Something that was dead inside of you is being reborn. Be it spiritually, emotionally, like if your heart, you believe you cannot love again, your heart's gonna start beating. They're going to bring someone that's going to make that shit beat like jackhammer. Um, Ten of Cups is also being with people, your soul tribe, being with someone that will make you very happy. Ace of Wands is, again, that kind of passion that you need for your sacral and solar plexus. Side by side, you could have a renewal in that category. And once you start drinking from this cup where the divine juice is perpetually being refilled by God you don't need anything else everything comes because it flows properly um, I'm getting the eternal fire the eternal flame so these aces are going to be refilled perpetually this is not something that you have to keep healing, keep renewing, because whatever pathway this is opening on your end, so long as you stay on this path, this particular path, the well would be overflowing. And you will tap into this ceaselessly. There's going to be, um, there's they can't halt or the divine won't halt anything so long as you keep on your path and have something about your sacred space not have sex with someone that's not your divine counterpart or if they were your ex divine counterpart and they went into a different contract that person is not your divine masculine or feminine anymore that is a karmic and you could actually sacrifice these gifts that are about to head your way if you keep going back to the past that's why they're telling you to move forward because whoever is coming towards you will be on the same wavelength same frequency as you are michael get me the water and emotional well-being please And for those that are being guided to towards Archangel Gabriel, um, call on him. I think there's a download waiting, but you have to have your third eye chakra decalcified, what? Or it's clear, make sure all of your chakras are open. I don't know what it is there's downloads for you especially if you're on life path 2 life path 9 life path 3 life path 4 or if you've been seeing a lot of 464 414 404 you're being called for something um, Hold on, Archangel URL is coming through. Hold on. 
And for those that needing help with creativity, Archangel Uriel wants you to something about what is that? The, the eternal sword, eternal flame. Something about creativity. And if you need help on that end, he's there to help. I don't know how. Maybe they'll give you a download or he's going to send someone on your end. But that's for that creative people. And for those that have certain life path, Archangel Gabriel is heavily, especially if you're stepping into your masculine energy, call on him. I don't know what he wants from you, but there's a message there and a download and it's different per person. Okay, we have King of Cups, Ace of Swords, Tower. Looks like there's going to be clarity here and it's coming in fast. It could be with people you live with, people in your life, but King of Cups, this is you. In your masculine energy with Emperor in this one it could have been information from someone that left your life hastily or someone that you got cut off, you cut off or someone cut you off but there's healing here especially with your mind Archangel Mi Michael if you need help with confusion saying something sorry <laughs> he he has a he has a weird way of saying things um especially if it's affected your sacral chakra uh yes call on to him uh let's see what else i'm seeing something here something could have happened on scorpio or sagittarian season Something about Zeus, electricity. I don't. What is this? What is the tower? Someone's initial could be A. A. A T T A C T. The fool. All right. So if you've been stuck in one place, in prison in your mind for others there's a new pathway for you to be in this jolly pathway new sunshine coming up new people coming in and new opportunity in career or with love be it man or woman person coming through is this king of wands could be a fire sign not necessarily also could be a scorpio but overall all you need is the pinnacle. But I'm told once you've fulfilled all these, things will start unfolding. And the next one would be a pinnacle. And they're kind of dangling that the very, very end to see if you are ready. Because whoever it is you're waiting for, they don't want you to share that ace of pinnacle with this person specifically. I'm getting for a lot of you that person went into a contract karmic contract elsewhere and that person can no longer tug on your energy you need to be in this mindset of reconciliation gratitude being abundant um, we had that first card earlier right as what is this no hold on gratitude so you have to be in this state of gratitude being in this state of gratitude would overcome any fears be it in your mind emotional um, attachment codepen uh, codependency for others it's time to heal that three three for those looking for a job looks like no opportunities are coming through um, also with friendship new soul tribes are coming in change change is happening could be a Leo here not necessarily 
but this is someone that's again with the infinity symbol this is someone that in the same frequency as you are love is here all right so let's see get from your angels we have Sonia. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Okay, I'm going to be clarifying who that's from. We have Grace and Antoinette. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Sonia, Grace, and Antoinette could be significant. As a or G could be significant. I'm seeing it as Sag, could be a Sagittarius. Chantal, new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. So if you're already married or with a com your committed partnership, looks like there's going to be um, reignited passion when it comes, I don't know, like romance between you two. And we have be open to giving and receiving love. And we have Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Okay, and we have flow of prosperity with Lakshmi. This is, I don't know if, this is from the Ascended Masters deck. So if you've been praying unto her, looks like abundance and prosperity is heading your way. We have successful funding. If you've been wanting a partner, business partner to help you with finances, looks like you're, go or for that loan, business loan, looks like it's going to be granted. We have your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that, you, that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning, it, turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. I'm getting a silent business partner as well. We have God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. I'm sorry if you could hear my dog going crazy in the background. We have, it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Okay, for those that are terrified, I know this is kind of the irony and bizarre, but there's, I'm getting for others, afraid of success, afraid of money. There's a weird attachment to money you see money as devil energy or you see it as it influences people the wrong way there's again a very unhealthy attachment or detachment of money um, you cannot be in this abundant and prosperous face if you cannot wholeheartedly receive what's being granted to you um, you could use that money to help crowdfund people with businesses or give it away but just be open to it because it looks like there's a lot coming on your end and if you're not going to be open to receive and you want love looks like one blockage of one thing could lead to another because I'm just getting like I'm seeing stairs and that's one faction one sector that you need to overcome like codependency i know it's kind of vast difference but this is part of your healing and it looks like if you want to stay on this path looks like you have to kind of overcome the limitations you have for yourself okay um let me get who this is um, Archangel Michael, get me Sonia. A message from deceased loved ones. Who's this coming from? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we have. Could be from a family member. 
someone born or on March or with three, three could be their favorite number. Um, 36 as above, so below. So this person probably died on a car accident or an accident of some kind or they left without saying goodbye to you. This person could have been an anchor, emotional stability for you. Could be a wealthy man as well. 13, 313 could be significant. Um, we have three again. For others, this could have been someone you're engaged to, engaged to marry, or you were married to this person. Um, for others, it could have been with a loved one that you were with. Something about love. This person is part of your guide. And this person is always with you. This could have been someone that felt like home or you lived with this person. But I'm getting like your anchor and home. Somebody could be 43. 33, 36, 40. For others, it could have been someone from your community. You could be 39 that really helped you grow into the person that you are. It could have been a guardian or a caretaker, especially when you were a child. CC could be significant. CF. All right, so let me carry on. Okay, we have Queen of Stars. This is the Queen of Wands, the Illuminator. 14, this is Temperance Angel, the Acceptance, Harmony. Nine of, Nine of Swords, Guardian, so this is you. Six of Wands, Success. Ten of Angels, this is Surrender. And... Okay, so this is pain, nine to 10, okay? You're healing, you're ending healing, whatever this is for you. 14, 11, Libra Sagittarius could be significant. Somebody could have Venus or Mars in Libra or Sagittarius. We have two of angels. balance the shadow capricorn this is the devil and we have two of hearts the awakening oh my gosh hold on let me put this aside um let's see oh my gosh there's a lot of them the empress and I'll put this up here. Faith. Okay. Hold on. Let me get my dog. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. So it looks like you're going to be the emb embodying this energy here, the Empress and Queen of Stars. I'll take this and put it right here. So you're going to be in this abundant mindset, also not chasing. You're going to be not you're going to be attracting, but not chasing anyone or anything except for your life purpose this is the divine balancing scales you're in transition from karma to dharma so this is really granting blessings um, towards you you've worked hard for this 
that's why if you kind of decline the gifts coming your way I don't know I don't know what that means but don't decline it <laughs> um, this is from nine of swords you're succeeding whoever was actually causing you pain causing you sleepless nights causing you a lot of tears and it kind of dwindled your star energy that fire in your heart and it looks like there's healing in that department especially grounding you towards success towards overcoming this heartbreak and accepting accepting things for what is and not what could be or what was we have ten of angels here this is really the pinnacle of pain there's no coming back with ten of swords ten of swords is the kind of pain that really changes you as a person it changes it alters your mind your DNA and kind of in a way how you perceive pain um, be it from a loved one friendship group or a significant other that has impacted your life in a big way um, 14 3 and 11 could be significant but I'm seeing green here this is Archangel Raphael healing your heart so call on him if you need help with if you're still in this um, heavy magnitude of trying to overcome but not having the capacity to keep on going especially every day if it really like debilitates you from functioning um, call on Archangel Raphael for healing your heart chakra Okay, divine order two of angels this is you learning blocking your fears um, accepting them this will wholeheartedly leave you extinguished the moment you start balancing um, this devil energy that's been plaguing your mind probably for a year and a half six months a year for others um, this could be a person environment place or thing but balancing would lead towards harmony for others blocking this person could lead to harmony this is really equalizing everything the illuminator as a queen of wands i'm seeing this is a lot of solar plexus this is you um, the sun energy highlighting spotlighting what was kind of putting you in this lack um, two of hearts this is basically union with another person um, whoever this is if this is a twin flame or a high level divine counterpart there's an awakening here um, I'm getting it could be in February or it could be on the 20th of March or February 20th but this person will emerge I don't know if you're gonna encounter this person or you already know this person for others you already know this person and this person is just gonna come out of nowhere wanting to ask you on a date and actually this person's just been right in front of you and it's your divine counterpart and for others you're going to meet this person randomly I don't know why I'm getting grocery store or at a movie theater it's just going to be really random um, seven of stars this is seven of wands faith know that everything's happening to you for you this is seven of wands is divinely protected divinely guarded there's a lot of angelic energy helping you move forward to whatever pathway this is on your end with six of stars you could be leading towards fame and fortune for others decisions in whatever arena you're in but this is overcoming the fears, codependency, attachments to people, place, or thing that no longer serves you. 
always staying in the past, not in present, not even planning the future. The past is done. You've learned your lessons and it's time to move forward. Um, I mean, it's pivotal with past, how we study our actions and how we do not repeat those. But with these things here, you need to be in these energies so you could overcome this obsession, this whatever this pain is that's blocking you to this is two swords blocking you towards this union. Um, for others, you've already met this person, Scorpio, Sagittarian season. You've started to speak to this person. Let me get Michael, get me the the shadow. What is this? The world. You've ended a cycle with this person. <clears throat> Could be a fixed sign. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or... What is the other one? Aquarius. Could be a Libra as well. 212 could be significant. But could be balancing. I'm getting social media here. Two one eight could be significant. Could be someone's birthday. Somebody could be twenty eight or twenty eight is significant. Michael, what is this? Somebody could be tugging on your energy. Someone that you block, but this person has back channels. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that works with energies or somebody that works with magic. I know this is not everyone's storyline, so if it's not yours, don't take it, please. This person's targeting people around you. This is you wondering why there's a lot of confusion, a lot of disorder around work life, love life even. And for those wanting to, it could be a Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, or Aries. But what's happening here, this is if you wanted to move on to this union, looks like there's a person. Could be a Capricorn, not necessarily. Or someone that's just embodying this devil energy that keeps pulling you back into no cycles over and over and over again. You probably dealt with this person for two years. Um, for others, it's been three or five years and it looks like your two of cups is about to expire and if you don't head towards this union the one that's waiting is going to have a new contract with another divine counterpart and you will be stuck with whoever this is and however you deal with this you might be stuck here for another five, seven years. So please be careful. Because this one could lead towards marriage. Your Ten of Cups. Again, Divine Order, Justice, 1111. This is the Queen of Wands. So... It could also be a Libra, or it could be a lawyer. Air signs represent the king of swords, queen of swords. So you could be dealing with justice system, but I'm getting this is divine order with your love life, actions that you've been taking, lustful actions for others. You need to overcome that obsession. Um, 
for those it could be overcoming drinking problems as well or whatever addiction this has been you need to kind of end this because it's time to move forward end this cycle please what's the two of hearts and the awakening this union have been divinely protected but it looks like it's about to expire for, for most of you guys 227 could be significant there's someone in your energy past relationship that was just very sexual or indulging in a, a lot of addiction could be king of swords magician could be a gemini you're dealing with but gemini represents the twins this person is heavy mercury so it could be virgo as well What is the magician manifesting? Okay, your king of swords, be it man or woman, they're just in their masculine energy, but this person is manifesting a new counterpart, queen of cups. I don't know if it's you, or they're manifesting a new person. Could be you with empress here. But, I don't know if you walked away from this person, you spoke to this person, you did not respond to them. You blocked this person because you want to entertain this devil energy. This puts you in the five of wands, jealousy, just a lot of heartache. But if you already know this person, six six could be significant. It looks like this person is already in love with you 22 could be significant something happened here in 2022 or they're manifesting beautiful in love with them get me the seven of stars please did i just flip this thing over yeah i did Okay, we have Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Okay, your divine counterpart wants you. This person is heavily burdened with this partnership. It's like they're working on thin air. They don't see the fruits of their labor. They're torn between wanting to work with this wanting to keep loving you at the same time moving on and work on something else with someone else collaborate with a person that gives in they feel like there's nothing here oh my gosh yeah this person wants to take their chances somewhere else yep oh yeah yeah so please yeah they want <laughs> they want a new contract with someone oh my god okay you guys and they're just gonna ghost you okay so if you want this person get it together please get that shit done kill the shit and go because this person comes in with your ace of pentacle this is your ace of pentacle the wheel of fortune and this person is about to just unkill mode here and leave everything behind i think you've made this person wait i don't know but for those that have met this person and you've made this person wait they want to go somewhere else i don't know if they've met another person that could be also a divine counterpart i don't know if they've been granted a new pathway for others they have been they've been working with their angels with upstairs and it looks like a new contract is emerging for this person um 
but f before they could head on to this new contract they have to fully close the cycle with you and they're going to be coming in with a truth very soon Kansas could be significant okay so this is where the ace is this wheel of fortune so it's up to you you guys if you want to so don't make this person wait this is a king of swords emperor energy a magician as well I don't know who the high priestess is it could be you and they're the high priest but this person is also connected heavily guarded by Archangel Michael so if you don't want if you don't want this person just tell them don't let them wait because they have to deal with whatever it is that they have to do they have a mission too okay let me get messages let me get some of the messages and I'll get your Archangel Michael prayers oh my god how long did this video go on I'm so sorry um I could just talk forever. Nine of water. Queen of water. Okay, this is your wish fulfillment. Your wish come true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. And we have queen of water. Queen of cups. Tender hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. And let me... Again, divinely protected... You are very divinely protected. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. And we have the chariot with Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline, and willpower. For those who are seeking fame and fortune, looks like there's going to be public recognition on your end or whatever field you're in. And we have Ace of Water, a renewal of love of abundance this is falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship partnership a spiritual growth and enhanced intuition for others this is a new home could be moving into a new home or just buying one okay so we have these past life present power as the soul grows in service to the great feminine and her intention that all beings be healed and free it gathers internal resources to assist on the path these resources include powers and gifts from other lifetimes. You are currently integrating past life abilities. Be open to what is taking place as your soul awakens ancient power and abilities in you. Okay, and we have from Archangel Michael, God is in charge. And your prayer is, dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Your second prayer we have from Archangel Michael, honor and trust your feelings. And your prayer is, thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand, express my emotions with love. Lastly, we have soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. So everything is already in you, within you. And all you have to do is call upon that power and activate it. All right, so this is all I have for you, um, Earth Angels. I hope this message enlightened you some way, somehow. Um, lots of love, lots of healing, lots of prosperity on your end, and Happy New Year. Bye.